Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. I told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. It's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here, but who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here. 
make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. <laughs>